Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for this week's video. I am doing the classic 23 outfits for 2023. I did one two years ago. I did 21 outfits for 2021. I'll link it in the description. It was actually the second video on this channel ever. And yeah, I don't know what happened with 2022. I just didn't end up doing it, but I really want to bring it back in 2023. I loved watching other people's like for the past couple years. I really wanted to do it again. I'm going to make this intro short and sweet because we have a lot of outfits to get to. One of our outfits in particular, I need to be my New Year's Eve outfit. Today is New Year's Eve. I'm going out tonight with some friends and I have no idea what I'm wearing. There was a high chance that like, I would just be spending New Year's like manifesting, journaling, watching a movie, very comfy, cozy, but I'm not doing that. And I didn't really think to like buy an outfit or like come up with a vision. So we're gonna do that today. So one of the outfits, or a couple of the outfits maybe, we'll try to do a little New Year's twist on them. Here's my little Instagram. Um, if you want some more outfit inspo, I think we should get into this video. Let's do it. the length of this video i'm going to talk about the outfits i feel inclined to speak on i'll talk a little bit about this first one just because i've been really really dying to style this corset again i feel like the way i styled it in these pictures which was the first time i styled it right after i kind of got it from screaming mimi's i feel like i can't beat that like i just love that outfit so much and the way it made me feel and so i just wanted to style it in a fun new way for this video playing with like different colors with this corset just because it's so bold that i kind of want to see like where i can take it with other pieces of my closet i think my only thing is i would change the heels to like the same heel but in a hot pink so it just keeps the leg monochrome and makes them look even longer i just don't own that but yeah Anyways, that was look one. Let's check out what look two has in store. going to wear to a holiday party I was invited to before the holidays so I had it kind of like laid out I didn't know how I was gonna accessorize it so I added the pearls and all that just now dress normally is like super long and kind of doesn't really show the pants except for the pant legs so I wanted to like ruch it up in order to make it so that it showed the pants a bit so I just kind of tucked it into my pockets I could put like something here and here which I've done in the past like with this dress to give it kind of like a fancy club vibe and add some like rosettes and things like that, which I've been loving right now. And like, it could be cute, totally could be cute. It could be a possible New Year's option, but I'm not completely obsessed. So I guess we'll figure it out tonight. But I feel like with this really bold makeup and like a fun hair look would kind of like save it and really elevate it. You know I love a dress over pants, skirt over pant moment. Um, it just gives you an attitude. Like I don't know what else to tell you. It just gives an attitude.
like a simple little black bra. Not a big bra girl, you guys know the vibes. I wish I like had like a cuter bra. This is where I'm like, okay, you need to be bra girl because in some situations you do wear bras under things and like you want them to be cute, so like. And then this, this is one of my favorite ever thrifted finds. It is so crazy kooky. I could wear it this way too and have the girly on the other side. Let's continue. <laughs> the big t-shirt styled over this kind of like mesh moment both on the legs and the arms it was very much inspired by this knee-high look that they styled they sell these like spandex pieces as well um in black i saw it first with Maisie willen they do a lot of this vibe and that's what kind of like got me into it made me want to search for like cheaper options and they're fun i feel like some people will hate them a little bit kooky i love a pair of mini shorts, short shorts, hot pants, whatever you want to call them. I love a capri as well. Like in the next year, I really want to get more. They're so fun to wear. You just feel so sassy in them. I got the tights and a top from the Buffalo Exchange. They were selling them during Halloween. Perfect time to stock up on tights, on like random accessories, very like niche stuff. Cheap costume jewelry, uh, which I love. Got my little poppy bag. Okay, next outfit. very big fan of heels and sweatpants heels and track pants heels and cargo pants all of that obviously I love a heel and jean and I love that boots pant ratio where like the bagginess of the jean just meets the heel you have to tell and like maybe a little bit of the heel we've talked about it before a good boots pant ratio forget about it but specifically in the winter when it's really shitty out it's cold I don't really want to put on like jeans necessarily, but I'm going out to dinner somewhere maybe nicer or I want to put together like a more styled outfit. I love a good little cargo sweatpant with a heel. Throw on like an elevated jacket, style it up with like fun accessories, do it like a cute bag. It serves kind of every time, like it's gonna do it. I love these specific pants with heels. These are Riz of the Label. They're like my favorite track pants that I own. They're genuinely the best. I'm just wearing it with my classic black stiletto kitten heel guys i love the pointed toe just wanted to give a little shout out to cargos and sweats with heels i absolutely love for this vibe i feel like tiffany lou has always given me like so much inspiration when it comes to a track pant or a sweat pant with a heel i feel like for me she's pioneered that and really put it on my radar so and i, I just love her instagram and style in general i've been seeing these chokers more and more i love them in like the smaller smaller scale it's like a smaller little rose i love the crochet versions obsessed it's karen hello <laughs> This dress is a Betsy Johnson dress I bought off of Depop and I love it. I've only worn it once when I was in Paris and I really, really wanted to style it in a bit more of like a wearable casual way. My first thought to do that was throw some pants under it. So this is actually a jumpsuit that I do and I just tied the top underneath the dress. The dress, it's just strapless. It has boning. I ought to throw on my little cropped, like short little like blazer top. 
which like I'm not obsessed with, but I do think it looks quite cute. I hate the rough hem. Um, it's because I cut it and cropped it. I used to be obsessed with doing that, like cropping blazers and wearing them with a the rough hem. Like that is like the worst taste. And I'm like, how did I ever, I just, I hate it. Thankfully, like when I wear it flat, it kind of blends in with the dress. So you can't really see too much that it's a raw hem, but I really hate the raw hem. It freaks me out. I think it would be really cute with like a black moto jacket, not a leather jacket, like not the one that I wore earlier. I need one that's more of like a biker fit. Like this jacket that I have in dark brown, but in black would be really fire with this. I really like it with the glasses too, cause I just think it makes it a little bit less fancy, more wearable, more casual. But yeah, that's this look. I do really like it and I love it with these sneakers. Love it, love it. These shoes I got for Christmas. So thankful and grateful. Um, my mother got them for me and I adore her. She really loves them too. They're very much her style. Um, they kind of look like rock climbing. Shoot, like they just give me that vibe. They're the brand 80s, I believe is how you say it. Is this brand? Um, I love them. They're great. They're so comfortable. It's insane. I love them. We got a lot more to do. Let's do it. This fleece is from the brand Strawberry Western. It is the coziest thing ever and it's such a cute fleece. It'd be so cute and like, this is like my dream way of styling it with this like butter yellow skirt from Sandy Liang. Like literally forget it. This would be the perfect outfit. I don't have that. But I don't really have a skirt similar to that. So I just kind of went with my Adidas track pants, which has this kind of same yellow in it. Even though it's a different green, I still think it's kind of cute. And then white headband to connect the white Nikes. Um, I think this is a very cute, kind of like opera ski look, but literally like running errands, doing anything around the city, layer over like a big fur if it's colder. But I feel like New York's now like 50 degrees every day. So I'm like, it's not that cold. So literally a t-shirt under this and you're chilling. So I love it. I know these trigger some people. Um, okay, next outfit. inspired by this photo, which I was able to create pretty damn good. I could also throw on my um, petticoat or crinoline over there, but I kind of like this skirt with it to like, but I could really, really recreate it with that. Um, but I don't know, I never like style this skirt, so I thought it would be fun with it, but it's this photo that's giving me the inspo. I wanna credit it, obviously. Recently wore this white top with another one of my muscle tanks in this outfit, and I love it. I love layering with this top with things that don't have sleeves because I love, like look how satisfying that is that it ends right there and then the poof sleeve is able to poof, you know? I like to be educated. I'm having a mean girls moment. I've been meaning to make this tank top and just cut it and wear it with this bra specifically. Any bra would slay. I just I just want a top that's like this so bad. And I literally love the way this looks and I would wear this out. With drinks with friends, you have the jacket on. It's a simple white tank, skirt, heels. You get there, you get comfy, you're having fun. Let the girls out. Or let the girls out from the jump, from the get. I love it. 
Okay, next look. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to be the new. My mom got me the strawberry shortcake skirt. Uh, cause she found it at like some random thrift store. And because like my hair is red, she's like, you're a strawberry shortcake. And I love strawberry shortcake. And so I wanted to style it. I really don't know if I like this outfit, but so comfy. And this is a very chilled, chilled outfit. So, okay, next outfit. like my my maybe for new year's i really haven't worn this top too much and it's so sequency and crazy um that i thought it could maybe be fun i never ever wear this blazer as well so i thought maybe the colors could be kind of cool together and like the mixed prints i love the idea of the legging and i think the legging matches the top pretty well not exact but because they're separated by the blazer doesn't really matter. I like the pop of orange from the heel. I like this. I just don't, I don't know why I'm not sold. I think maybe I would have to do my hair and makeup first um, and like make the hair and makeup really like young because uh, I'm afraid this is looking too like businessy vibe. I feel like right now I'm leaning towards the purple, but I would wear the purple, this is my thing. I would wear the purple to something else. I don't think I would wear this to something else. So we'll see, but I'm going out tonight, so I'm editing tomorrow, and I'll put what I ended up wearing here. Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching my 23 outfits for 2023. That was a lot, but so much fun as always. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve. If you're going out tonight, please be safe. I know this is after the fact, but you're being safe. It's me speaking it into the universe. I love you all so very much. I so appreciate you supporting me throughout this year. It was a crazy one, not my favorite. Um, but again, thankful for everything. Thankful for you guys so much. And YouTube is still forever my favorite platform. You all keep me inspired, keep me energized. And you're just the nicest, most supportive following in the world. And I cannot thank you enough. So appreciate you guys so much. Sending you all my love. And 2023 is going to be a beautiful year. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. Positive vibes, but we will see. I love you all so, so much. See you in the new year. Bye, guys.